Okay, YouTube. So if you have this Admiral washer, I don't know what model it is, but it's the same as some other top brands. It's like the the cheaper brother of a Whirlpool, I think. I'm not too sure, but if you have this Admiral washer and your washer stinks, let me show you what I did to take care of it. Um, it's we've had these washer and dryer set we got for about five years ago and they've been they've been great no issues with the dryer the only issue with the washer is that it stinks um one thing i'll show you guys that slushing sound don't worry about it that's the balancing ring that's the liquid inside the balancing ring right here in case you didn't know that so you could pull the tub out and it still makes that sound, but I just found out that that's the balancing ring and that's supposed to have liquid in it. So I'm going to tell you what I did to clean it out and it was kind of nasty in there. Um, first, we'll start with what we need to do to open the lid. There are, a, there's a bolt right there and a bolt right there on the other side. And then slides forward kind of you got to kind of wiggle it a little bit got one side up and then it lifts up so we'll set that back there don't worry I have uh, supposed to hold it with something but I got the back wall right there it's a little messy but it's a washroom it usually is okay so first there's a nut you got bolt actually you take out right there you pull that out it's very easy to get out next you're gonna have this nut now this nut takes a special wrench they call it a spanner wrench what I did is I just got a chisel but I used the side of the chisel and hit the side of it with the hammer you might have to soak that ring right there with WD-40 uh, a little bit to help uh, loosen that up. I didn't have to do that. I just knocked it a few times, but uh, I'm a pretty big, big and strong guy. I'm not trying to brag, but I am. Um, so once you get that off, well, first of all, sorry, there's this cover that goes around right here, and it just clips on. You can see little tabs right there. You could just get a butter knife. It's skinny enough to stick in between the cover that goes around here. And just undo it all the way around and just take it off. I took it off to clean it. So I broke that nut loose. Got it off. Just set it to the side there. Now I'm going to set you down for a second, okay? There you go. Pulled it right out. Uh, there's a tub sitting there on the washroom floor. The metal metal part of the tub, I guess you could say. I don't know what the agitator is what that's called. Or I'm not sure exactly what that's called. I think that's called the agitator. But I got the metal tub out of there. Now to the plastic tub that's in here. What I found out was it was dirty all right here in this area. But that was hard and that was dry and it was dirty all around the edge right there. What it was is there's like a little reservoir right down here. There was like a sludge buildup that just stunk real bad. Like our washroom was starting to stink. And I think this may be because we don't use uh, bleach. We never use bleach on any of our clothes. I'm sure if we would have been using bleach, the bleach would have ate up that sludge. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not 100% positive. So I just got... A bucket of uh, all-purpose cleaner, a uh, hot water bucket of all-purpose cl all cleaner, brought the bucket in here, just cleaned it out. It was pretty bad. Uh, it was real, real brown all around here, brown all right there, and then this whole layer underneath, it was like a black, like dark brown, almost blackish layer right here. Um, it was down in there. Um, I also pulled off, I'll show you real quick. Uh, pulled off.
pulled this little guy off. This is pretty much what stops like socks and everything going down to the pump. There's the pump right there that pumps all the water out. This was nasty. This was like layered with nasty sludge too. Like I said, I'm sure if we use bleach to clean it out, we probably could have done that. We may have been able to, to soak the tub with bleach water and got it all out. I'm not sure. I just, I rather would have taken it all the way apart and done it the right way in my eyes to make sure I got everything. Cause it was, it was nasty in here after five years, you know, and it barely started smelling like that a few months ago. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna run some, I just got done cleaning it with all purpose cleaner. It smells pretty good. So I'm going to probably run a load of clothes in here now, see how it smells and everything should be good and just put it back together the way you took it apart. It was actually really easy. Uh, the hardest part was breaking that nut loose, but if you have the proper tools to do it, uh, it just sets right around there, grabs the hex and breaks it right loose. So that's it. Hoped it helped out. Told my wife I, I was looking for a video for these particular Admiral washers because they've been great washable washer and dryer. They've been great to us. They were cheap and not fancy, and that's what I like. Less to break, in my opinion. Worked in the automotive industry for 18 years, still working in the industry. The less there is, the less there is to break. It's just common sense. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you.